live. Got my picture in frame. I'm shaved up, but I'm still about to tighten it up. I'm feeling good, man. I'm feeling inspired. I have a fun-filled evening planned. Um, we had a slight... I wouldn't even say it was a debate that I had going on. People tried to construe it into a debate, right? And uh, basically what I said in so many words is that we trying to highlight a chick, and I like to use the word bitches because it's fun to use the word bitches. It gets people's attention. If you don't think you're a bitch, then obviously I'm not talking about you. And real women don't play these types of games. So they know I'm not talking about them. I'm speaking about bitches. When I say bitches, I'm that's exactly what I'm speaking about. Motherfuckers, they'll give you their number, but give you the runaround and treat you like a motherfucking lottery ticket or some shit. Or treat you like you got the lottery ticket because you're talking to them. And then... Um, them wanting to give you pussy is like some type of jackpot where you got three sevens in a row at the fucking casino and that's a bitch so that's why i refer to them as bitches but i digress let's move on um hey fellas man no means no leave these crazy ass bitches alone now people that are actually that have actually went through some type of abuse or some type of assault this is not to make fun of them or make light of them of what they're going through because people that have went through assault existed long before the uh me too movement was in existence i myself went through a couple of situations when i was a young child and not with adults or anything like that but when i was younger like 11 12 adults for some reason used to always show me porn like i always came across old perverted men that showed me porn but that's neither here nor there at any rate so i'm not talking about actual victims that, that's going through some shit it's just People frivolously make themselves a part of the Me Too movement for any frivolous thing just to be a part of something. And that shit is whack. But that's not the point that I'm making here. The point I'm trying to make is, fellas, man, it's easy not to get swept up in this bullshit if you know the fucking signs. The most simple sign is that when a chick is really interested in you, she's not going to give you a hard time. Give me one second. All set? Oh, okay, thank you, man. Yeah, thank you, man. Oh, I didn't have to pay for parking. That's dope. Because it's holiday schedule. Um, yeah, if a person ain't, and I know in, in, in my status, I say if she's not acting like your devoted slave, that's extreme, that's an exaggeration, but it's some real shit. If a bitch is totally dedicated and into you, you have no chance of getting swept up into some me too shit, me too shit, because she's totally dedicated about you, you know what I'm saying? She's gonna initiate contact if you make plans, even if she can't do it a certain day, she will give you a counter offer. If the bitch ain't give you no counter offer, leave her the fuck alone. Leave her alone, y'all. A bitch that wanna really fuck with you is gonna tell you X, Y, and Z, this is why this is when I can do this. Oh, I'm not available this day, but I'm available at this time. Right? Because you try to make plans with a bitch, right? Oh, I'm busy Friday. You don't say nothing. Or, you know, okay. Are you available Saturday? Nope. Are you available Sunday? Nope. Are you available Monday? Nope. Are you available Tuesday? No. Are you available Wednesday? No. After like the second or third time of you asking this bitch, it come, you're, you, are, you are at this point, you're harassing her. She keeps saying no, but she's too cowardly and doesn't have the fucking courage to tell you when she wants to hang out with you. She keeps saying no. Monday, no. Tuesday, no. Wednesday, no. It's like the song uh, uh, by uh, Ebony Sh uh, Sh and uh, uh, fucking, what's it? Uh, Alexander O'Neill and uh, something Champagne or Sherelle. Monday, Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, love. She like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, no. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. You keep asking this bitch every day and this bitch is saying no. You done asked this bitch seven days in a row. She said no to all of them. After the second or third time, at this point, you are harassing this bitch. But you too stupid to realize that this bitch don't want to fuck with you. And at this point, yes, I'm calling this bitch a bitch. And she can't just say, yo, I'm just not interested. But instead of her saying, no, I'm not interested, she going to run through the whole, the, the, the whole 30, 30 day motherfucking calendar. She running through the whole fucking month and you keep asking. Nope, nope. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you like this. We're going to skip all the bullshit because, like I said, a real woman is going to shut you down from the beginning. First of all, a real woman, you're not even going to get to that point where you're comfortable enough to ask this bitch on a date or this woman. I'm sorry. That's not a bitch. You're not even going to get to the point where you're that comfortable to ask this person on a date. So it's never even going to get to that far. 
Now, I made the status a couple women was like, well, because men is, is so crazy and if 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 you say no, they had they might kill you or call you a bitch. Motherfucker call you a bitch if you cut them off in traffic. You could die in a car accident. You could die giving birth. The fact that somebody might call you a name or you might die doesn't stop you from doing other things in life. You understand what I'm saying? You could die walking out your house. Somebody could call you a bitch. Like I, somebody could call you a bitch for cutting them in line at McDonald's or fucking kill you. A whole bunch of situations where you can get you can get called a bitch or die and still don't stop you from living your fucking life. So why the hell does it stop you from telling a person no? Now in this situation, we are all communicating online. This is not a discussion that I'm having in life with you in, 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 in reality. So, obviously, I'm not speaking in reference to real interactions with real people in life. We are talking to each other in a digital situation, so obviously the context is online. You fucking stupid motherfuckers. Always wanna try to take my scenario and then flip it on some other shit. No. We're talking online and we're talking about regular like relatively sane adults dealing with each other this is what i'm speaking in reference to fellas if a bitch you try to talk to a bitch and she don't act like she's totally devoted to you cut that motherfucker off leave her alone because like i said at this point you are harassing her digital dating exactly at this point, or just digital interaction in general. At this point, you're her ransom. You went through the whole seven days. She said no every single fucking day and did not give you an alternative for any of these fucking days. The bitch don't want to deal with you. But you got to learn how to read the lady language. Like I said, they got this whole Zeta Stone. I'm about to put this shit out. The whole Zeta Stone breaks down what a bitch really means. You understand what I'm saying? And if a bitch ain't acting like she totally fucking devoted or into you when you're trying to talk to her, that bitch don't want nothing to do with you, man. I done bagged plenty of bitches within five seconds. I done bagged plenty of bitches within five seconds. So I know what it means. But you know, sometimes we want to be, oh, I'm trying to be a gentleman. And maybe I have to build up and work towards making a life. Man, fuck all that shit, man. Fuck all trying to build up, trying to make it. You got to, if the bitch don't like you. Yeah, exactly, Lindsay. Dead that shit. That's sometime soon. I I, I, I said this. I, I say this. In the lady language, if you ask a lady on a date, you like, when are you free? She'd be like, sometimes in the future. Yo, she, she never gonna fucking hang out with you ever. Yo, never put the onus, never put the onus on a bitch. Never put the onus on a bitch to let you know when she want to fucking see you. You as a man got to take control. You set it up like this. Yo, as a fella, listen, this is what it is. Friday, what's good? She can't hang out. If she doesn't respond and be like, you know, Friday, I'm not good, but Saturday is better. And Saturday at seven o'clock, come scoop me. And if you as a guy, if you aren't free that night, then you, you can give a counter to the counter. But for the most part, as men, we can, we going to make some shit happen if we try to hang out. We're, we're gonna make some shit happen, period. That's how we operate. We don't let life control us. We control motherfucking life. And people in general control life. People in general control life. So this whole, oh, I'm busy, I don't know, like nah, bitch. When you want motherfucking dick, you know exactly when you want, you know exactly when you want the dick, you know who to call, you know when it's gonna go down, you know when the fuck to make it happen. Because if the only time you are free to get dick is at 3.30 in the morning. I guarantee you, bitch, if you fucking hop on your phone and dial your phone right now, a motherfucker will be at your place or get a room or be exactly where they need to be to make this shit happen. So you can't give me these fucking excuses of, oh, I'm so busy or I can't do this. I, I don't want to fucking hear that shit because relationships are like a business. Relationship, like having, um, getting into a relationship on any level, whether it's a fuck relationship, whether it's friendship, whether it's a, a real romantic relationship, it's like a business. It is a, it's a business transaction. It's like getting a job. You understand what I'm saying? And if you have this same bullshit ass, wishy-washy attitude of trying to get a job, the job would never fucking hire you. Because a job don't give a fuck when they can't see you. A job doesn't give a fuck of when you can't work. A job only cares about when you are available and the same mentality or attitude should be had when you're dealing in fucking relationships. He said maybe they, 
maybe they don't want dick remorse. Well, if you're going to be remorseful about some fucking dick, then you shouldn't be fucking fucking around with dicks. Period. You shouldn't be fucking around with that if you're going to have fucking remorse. And anyway, I don't want no re remorseful ass bitch because a remorseful bitch, the way they, this Me Too shit is now, a woman can consent to a guy, right? That's why you got to get shit on paper or you got to get shit on camera as much as you can. A bitch, and this is a bitch that does shit like this, can consent to a man, consent to this motherfucker. The next day feel remorse about it and like, damn, I felt like I consented at the moment, but the next day, you know what? I was wrong. I don't consent anymore. And there have been cases where men have gotten sexual assault charges because the woman changed her mind on the consent retroactively the next day, the next week, the next month, the next fucking year. I don't got time for no bitches like that that might be remorseful of some shit. I got a bitch that knows she loved dick and she is totally devoted to me as her fucking slave. If she don't got that mentality with me, I don't want nothing to do with that bitch because I don't want a bitch that's confused about the situation afterwards. I want a devoted motherfucker. And if I got to go through the rest of my life with not having no more women, then period, I will pay for people that are, get, that are paid to fucking think that way. This is their fucking job. Preferably don't know no English and don't know who the fuck I am. I pay him this money, we do our thing, we keep it moving. That's what we're becoming. We're, we're, we're starting to be constructed into this fucking uh, uh, mechanical ass, uh, capitalistic, uh, lit, uh, legit, uh, what's the word for litigation? Litigious, I, I don't know if that's a fucking word. You know what I mean? But we always gotta fucking document shit and put shit on video and have notaries. And we have a fucking have a sexual prenuptial agreements. We have to have consent forms, all kinds of shit, just to fucking dot our I's and, and, and cross our T's, just to make sure that we're in a good spot. To eliminate all this shit, fellas, if a bitch ain't acting like she your devoted slave, fuck that bitch. Don't even, don't even fuck with her. Don't deal with her. And then, how you bitches gonna get mad at this shit? I'm telling niggas not to fuck with you. I'm doing you bitches a favor if you're not feeling these niggas. I'm doing y'all a favor. Like, these niggas ain't gonna fuck with you no more. They're gonna text you one time. Oh, that's another thing. If a bitch don't respond to your text, never hit that bitch up again. That's even on a whole nother level. Make sure you get the shit right through text message. That's a, that's a form of uh, liability. Bam. That is a form of consent right there. Get the shit in text messages. messages and also get, like Patrice O'Neill said, that I didn't rape you text. You wanna get the text the next day? Bam, baby, you had a good time. I had a good, yes, I had a good time. Boom. It's sealed. You got it in writing that you didn't rape this motherfucker. Now she was like, oh, you was too rough and shit. You might get caught up in some shit. But it's oh my God, that was so wonderful. Make sure you get that text afterwards. But try to get some type of voicemail, some type of some type of something. You need some type of something, man. And like I said, if you try to make plans with these bitches, and they really could you drive any slower, you old ass motherfucker, goddamn. If you try to make plans with these individuals, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop saying bitches. If you try to blink, because I'm calm down. But if you try to make plans with these individuals and they say they're busy a certain day and they don't give you another suggestion, that bitch wants nothing to do with you, period. And I would take it even a step further. Not only does this bitch gotta give you another alternative for plans, she also gotta pay for the motherfucking date. She got to pay for it. If she's not willing to go that route, the bitch, ain't, the bitch is not into you. She's not interested in you like that. So leave these motherfuckers alone. Life is short, though. I always say this shit. I only got two minutes because I ain't about to... I can rant on this shit for hours, but I got two minutes and I'm done. Life is fucking short. We don't live that fucking long. We're adults, you know what I'm saying, for most of our lives. But most of our lives, like... Our sex game not even that fucking good. We probably got about 20 years of good text, yo. If that, yo. Maybe like 20 years, give or take. You know what I'm saying? And then maybe out of those 20 years, as far as men, five of those years is just chasing these bitches to fucking get it in with them. You know what I'm saying? And then as far as men, we probably got about seven good years of, of, of sex. So... All I'm saying is, man, leave these fucking bitches alone if they're not acting like they the devote. If they aren't acting like they your devoted slave, if they're not initiating first, 
if they are not making it clear that they fuck with you on that level, um, if they're giving you the runaround, if they're not returning your text, fuck the three strike rule because you can have more than one strike and you get hit up for some type of sexual assault or, or harassment, whatever. If they're not giving you any type of energy or any type of reciprocation, leave these motherfuckers alone just to avoid getting caught up in the Me Too movement. And I know a lot of you bitches is mad because you bitches are so twisted in the fucking head. Even if you don't want a guy, you still want the fucking attention. You still love saying no. Like, saying no makes your pussies wet. No, I'm not. Or, you know, and just having all these guys are still thirsty all over me. Fuck you bitches, man. I'm not going to be thirsty. I'm not talking to you motherfuckers. You're not giving me any of that energy. I don't want to deal with you because there's plenty of motherfuckers. I got to do some digging and find these motherfuckers. But it's, And I've had plenty of these motherfuckers. There's plenty of the motherfuckers that will give me the energy that you standoffish, whack-ass bitches won't give me. So fuck y'all. Avoid the Me Too movement. Fellas, stop being so fucking thirsty. And keep your energy reserved for motherfuckers that want to give the energy back to you. And use your energy to do positive stuff in your life. Get yourself in shape. Get your money right. You know what I'm saying? Develop your art and your craft. And once you make yourself a better person, you will attract the motherfuckers that need to be in your life anyway. Fuck the rest of these bullshit-ass, frivolous-ass bitches that just want... Are, are frivolous attention from a whole bunch of motherfuckers that they really don't want to sh want attention from. And if they stop getting attention from these motherfuckers, they complain about this shit anyway because they some confused ass bitches that don't know what the fuck they want in their life. You don't need to deal with any of these confused ass bitches in your life because these confused ass bitches is the same motherfucking bitches that's getting caught up, getting niggas caught up in all this Me Too bullshit. Fuck the motherfuckers, man. I'm out. Hashtag everybody need more green. Peace.